have. They turn to you because there's no male figure they can probably, turn to. Probably, yeah. yeah to, to uh, elder him. brother, yeah. father. I, I don't have an elder brother, for example, and I have hemorrhoids. I also have an anal fissure. Oh, uh, guys, <laughs> this no, pain, no, no, no. pain is unbelievable. Yeah, There's somebody pain. standing behind you when you bent over. That's the guy you must talk to. Yeah, I've got a name of Chinapa. I've said it's a man who's in his hand. Oh, what more metaphors do you want to use, guys? For five or six years, I had this problem. Uh, uh, I had to have security. Because, because I kept beating people up. I needed people to... Nah, no. I just thought that... Anybody who saw me, if they're a group of five, six boys, right, and they come and slap me, I want to take you on because you're the tough guy yeah. on TV. No, 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 especially at any like a party or a club. Oh. After you go out some any... liquid oh. courage, yeah, there'll be five, six boys guy group. There'll be As girls they, who they, they come to fight with these guys. Yeah, 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 they yeah, come on. on. I've, I've gotten into fights. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. gotten into fights. He I can, he can imagine you in a sari and long hair because. He was Ravan and you were Surpanaka. I was not there. I was not part of that show. It's possible. I was Ravan. You were Surpanaka. I don't remember who was part of that. Yes, you were. Bro, we have yeah, no budget, Baba. You all, all had to disguise and do this. He was. He did a woman for a day. Remember when Maria Goretti? He was a girl. So you mean Maria was so terrible? We told him. <laughs> Maria, I'm sorry. This is what he's saying, man. Okay, let's tell them about you guys. And I don't know if this is correct, but weren't you all exceptional dancers? Wasn't there one of yeah, the thing? Yeah. I mean, they were really we were good. We're actually known as the dancing twins. No, I'm not. I'm no longer that guy. Okay, Cyrus says, uh, what have we got here? Two of India's highest paid tele performers who changed the game in India with a show called. Uh, Raste pe koi hai. I can't remember the name of the show, but anyway, it's a big show, and uh, they're all over the place doing all kinds of different things, reinventing themselves. And one thing has remained the same: eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> You've kept the eyebrows. Baki sab gaya. It's all Everything gone. gone. All great. I don't want to go back because Rajiv and I spoke and we discussed you a lot. Obviously, Raghu. By the way, part of the show is guessing who's who. <laughs> and I was just, I was, who was I telling in the morning? I was just saying ki. The first time I met Raghu Rajiv, because I met them almost, uh, we shot in 97, 97 together for the first time, 96 end or sometime, yeah. and uh, both of them were there. So the first time, you really get worried when you're with twins, okay? Because you all do have similar manners. You know, one of those twins were very different. But within no time, it's so easy to tell them apart. Actually, yeah. that is you've been really lazy when people say, "Oh, पता नहीं कौन है, ये कौन है, वो कौन है." But it's not really that difficult. But the first well, time it was, I it think was we just scary. gave away our age now. Yeah. Shooting together in ninety six. You were you were kids. Yeah. I have always had younger people directing me. I must be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's the youngest guy in the room? Sikau. Uh, that's it. So uh, first of all, let us give the context. What are we talking about? We're talking about MTV U. Wow. There was a show called MTV. You guys explain U. stuff on your podcast. Not, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, first time, actually, uh, it was uh, Cyrus's debut. A uh, show called a show called MTV U. U for University, huh? U yeah. for University. It will be U. It was a college <laughs> campus show. MTV U Chut. It was a college campus show. Yeah. Which you guys designed? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and let's and give him credit. Rohit Bhai. Rohit Bhai. Uh, two minutes silence. May he rest. <laughs> no, no. He's there. He's there somewhere. We love him. We love him. He's there. Yeah, and Manisha. So, uh, so <laughs> that was that was our first job. We were interns actually. Hmm. Hmm. But it was our first no, job. Just no, no, you were interns, but you were we, full on. We came out of internship. Yeah, yeah, we had, had. You yeah, were yeah. fully running yeah, yeah, the episodes. Yeah, bro. Yeah, what are you yeah. saying? No, and no, the I mean, edits. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not that. No, that salary for getting the time. We were getting the intern salary. That's okay. That's okay. Now, 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 Kids, the crowd that you get. Yeah. Say, I used to make phone calls, man. Landline. Yeah. I used to keep. It was the a uh, whole night thing. Wow. Or something. Amazing. And uh, you used to sleep with a lot of people just so yes. the kids could come. <laughs> yeah. At some point. They're, to add yeah. to the. They're factory. all part of the crowd uh, now. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, again, I'm just pointing out that you guys didn't know how well schooled you were getting. Yes. By doing so cool. much stuff beyond just creative. Yeah. Of course, yeah. there's the creative part which you were hoping to spend more time on, but you had to do everything, including freaking everything. find lunch in some strange everything. place. Get coffee for the editors. Yeah. Deal with moody anchors. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, that was that was. I easy think part. it was a it was a like an inflection point in India because before that, Vijay used to be really good looking, glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, but कुछ तारीफ होगा. In all this, they'll, they'll find a way to say nice things. Yeah, yeah. But so, it always begins by saying, "Mark Anthony's so speech." So you used to, you used to look at MTV because And you don't know what song is coming. At least you know a good-looking person is standing there. Yeah. So everybody used to be like good-looking. And we're like, okay, who's a VJ? Who's a VJ? And this yeah. boy walks in. Yeah. With he wanted Very to have long hair at that time. He was actually 
what he could do nobody else could do we, and i think he changed the entire definition of a vj par sun yeah. loop it play it again <laughs> <laughs> no actually we, we do not have uh, moody so vjs all man. our moody uh, tantrums came from the director from yeah. from uh, our creative team nobody yeah. else people, people used to ask me all the time because i've seen young ragu and young rajiv are they really like that and actually it's not a hoax ragu never threw a tantrum even berserk i can't remember really too often but he was a darker brother there's no question you know there was a there was a darkness to ragu in a good way i'm not saying that he was carrying some tragedy raji was more gregarious uh, you know louder he would laugh at anything so it's easier brother to tell your joke <laughs> you know that would laugh at this <laughs> yeah dekha dekha yeah. but yeah so that was there but we'll, we'll we'll come to that but let's first start with what you're doing here others will never talk about that which is the most important thing you started a podcast we are It's inspired by you as usual we, you you did mtv we came into mtv yeah, you exited right. mtv whoever i, I went it took away my job no, this is yeah. <laughs> now you're going to politics sir guys <laughs> <laughs> so whenever we, now you are doing podcast now we followed you here as well ah. So let, let's a brief introduction because it's called Mencyclopedia. Mencyclopedia. Yeah, Mencyclopedia. Firstly, let me explain to Rajiv. people what an encyclopedia is because I do. People only know Wikipedia. अपना जनता नहीं यार. नहीं ना. You're wasting your time. Move on. Move forward, yeah. Encyclopedia is about. <laughs> Mencyclopedia is all things men, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's called Mencyclopedia with Raghun Rajiv, and we discuss men's issues through a men's with a male lens. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of things are then talking about our lives and how because men have many issues hmm. we yes, have we many are. issues and we we actually don't talk about it so much if we talk about it we make jokes about it or people are ah, it's okay get over be a don't man be a man up mm-hmm. you know that kind of stuff so a lot of <laughs> lot of issues are there which are not talked about uh, and we want to talk about it through our experiences with that issue and mm-hmm. we've had Many experiences. Although let's explain that every experience is not yours, but it could be your friends because you know. I, I, one example is the short guy thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I was just listening yeah. to just now. Yeah. So you're not really short. So that no, that doesn't really matter. But somebody I know guys had, who've really suffered. Yeah. Uh. No, no. You have to understand. Yeah. When I've spoken about it in the puberty episode hit well. for everyone but us. Yeah. So we were going through puberty pains without actually getting the puberty. So we were short and feeling the. So you were short for the class for a little time. for a couple of years actually we were the shortest did you fail schools. also in those years no no, no. they were really short <laughs> <laughs> no we were short and we were thin and skinny wiry and we mm. used to have specs and we looked alike obviously in uh, school everybody is dressed the same so we used to be freaks you know teachers mm. used to come into a class and they, say they haven't seen rodies or what <laughs> <laughs> they used to be freaks <laughs> boss season by season oof so we made a career out of it wow <laughs> so they used to be uh, magnets for <laughs> bullying or or uh, really? body shaming yeah yeah i don't used to fight a lot because uh, there was one fight rajiv i think went through ragu when we were shooting we got into some massive fight with somebody i mean not in front of us yeah, yeah. over some chicks in a uh, yeah, yeah, winkies and the he usual yeah he was hurt in his oh, eye yeah, yeah, no badly yeah. hit and all that yeah. yeah i was also part of that fight huh. but he got hurt a lot more because people ganged up on him oh, oh, he's louder no oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was night so i i used my darkness to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, two of those guys became rody champions yeah. so, i'm talking about ayushman of course and, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. sorry go on so we were we i I Raghu and I have gone through the the pains and in insecurities and so and each of these topics you're saying personally you've been yeah, sort yeah. of vaguely We involved. We draw from least. our life, our yeah, experiences, okay. and our wisdom. So the person writing in is a figment of your imagination. That's a good handing. You just make up a name and <laughs> this is Tyler. Story. No, 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 no. That email was was real. Real it was real. But He's he answering me properly, huh? sweetie. <laughs> no, no. He didn't know that I had experiences with shortness and mm. when you talk about it through personal experiences. I guess it's a, a much easier it's not advice preachy. to take. It's less preachy. Yeah. Also, yeah. Exactly. So you've been through it. So whatever you're saying, at least yeah. you, it's worked for you. You're not yeah, lying yeah. completely. Yeah. yeah. But then let's talk about that one episode properly for a second. So the guy writes in. What did he say that he's been teased and bullied? They're two different things. Yeah. Like teased generally. Teased by friends. 
bullied by which is bullies. acceptable teasing and then there's bullying bullying bragging <clears throat> yeah even friends teasing is very traumatic at that age you know huh. you, he's you, 18 you, you pretend my that son is having... 18 really you understand so at that age everything is is hits really hard when you're trying to you know uh, impress the girls also yaar yeah, yeah, yeah that's the that's the issue because yeah. if you talk to a girl everybody is like laughing at you and yeah. the girl is also thinking why can't i get some some really yeah. taller it, it's especially that especially when phase, they release you know? that cartoon snow white and the seven dwarfs and you know <laughs> the posters right there you're going for a date and she's really fair <laughs> did you see those noses though oh yeah <laughs> wow it's not the height good advertising ha <laughs> <laughs> check out my organs <laughs> <laughs> huh, sorry sorry go yeah on. so so oh. that is the age where and teenagers have this uh, specific need that any advice can't be okay in 20 years it will all feel oh God, better no. oh. it has to happen this week now, now. Yeah. it has to happen whatever advice i give he has to start working on it and see results in this week or the next week is it's that less of, of an advice kind of a thing it's more of this is what we learned through our struggles with this particular thing yeah. see if that works for you hmm. that's what it is and bullying short guy fat guy dark guy sometimes this is part anything normal. that makes you different across india huh. will make will get you bullied yeah. though we feel that anything that makes you different should be celebrated that's But what no is one special about you uh, seeing of that as rodies and all that no one believe that you were bullied yeah you know actually i have an issue with the fact that people call me a bully hmm. call us that we bully but what we were doing there we were we were standing up to bullies that's how i see it that's how i my intention was if i saw somebody being sexist racist or or really Misogynist. being mean to uh, a, a group of people i would take them on that was me <clears throat> standing up to a bully but the power equation in that room is perceived as such that i have the power therefore i but they're I, scared I of you that's a, why they are generally scared they should of you. be they're smart After one or two seasons, I think they just came scared. But in the initial part, I can understand. Initial part, saying. I had yeah. to take them on full yeah, on, and yeah, I did because yeah. they would see people. They didn't know who I was. They said, "Who's this guy who's screaming at me?" And they would take me on, and I had to like. But that, that's what we used to in Delhi. You have to like. But, but you keep guys keep your fists balled and go for it. But you were telling me offline that the real bad guy is Nikhil Chinappa. Yeah, I have. And you two were the gentle <laughs> giants, you know, who were just. Can I tell you something about Nikhil? <laughs> he came in in season four, huh. and he said, "Buddy, I can't be mean." I don't know what your thing is. Yeah. I am the select guy. All right, yeah. people, I'm approachable. People yeah. come and they have to talk to me about their issues and yeah. they. How so long did it take? So a few it took more minutes. Like like yeah. In the first, <laughs> by the end of it, he was being held back by security, <laughs> frothing at the mouth, <laughs> like abusing in five different languages. And let like, me tell you, as a kurgi, he can carry a gun by law. <laughs> so whatever Raghu is doing to you, it's a bit worse. <laughs> Nikhil really traumatized. Oof, I think ouch. I don't think he's still gotten out of it. Yeah, no, I've been a couple of those uh, sessions when people have fallen sick and all, and there are some. It's difficult. I understand, but it's just stupid things, really stupid things. Forget the misogynist and all that. Mm. Sometimes I think that I let that go also because they don't know what they're saying. Yeah. But this is stupidity of the uh, point. Like a uh, beast. I remember once Raghu was asking, "Okay, beast, sir, what are you thinking? What are you going to do?" And he says, "Rodies." <laughs> I mean, after yeah, thinking yeah. it through, he was like, yeah. "That would be the right answer." When you're asking about his future, <laughs> that's what he comes back with. You're thinking, "How can this guy be in society?" You know, without seven people. holding him actually because of roadies and meeting all these kinds of people also for so many years i believe that has um, improved our understanding of the indian male indian male female both actually mm -hmm. but we choose is to talk about answer? males huh? uh, doesn't matter what your gender is <laughs> <laughs> no, but we choose is. to talk about on uh, males because it's primarily. your story yeah that's one of the reasons we started our podcast men's encyclopedia <clears throat> as well because there are two segments of viewers mm. majority i guess or uh, one part of it is are people saying you know they're bullies or they're mean or they're just uh, they're uh, spoiling the generation with abuses and stuff mm. there's another one who's saying we forget really, how you're saying it we you're making sense in making some way sense and you we have like, affected or impacted my life in a positive manner now i have a problem where do i get in touch with you where i can listen to you speak about this issue those are many of the dms that we get on on social media many of the emails that we get now and uh, that's one of the reason maybe say okay so without planning it you started becoming like uh, uncle bro elder uncle. brother figures yeah. Agni, yeah. to a lot Agni of uncle. indian males across india and you know what agni aunt chalo theek hai we want to take that label we'll take yeah. that label but that's what happened yeah. so people are checking in to you and saying raghu rajiv can you yeah. help me xxx is the yeah, 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 yeah. so you actually became what love line should have become <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know where we could really help people yeah Wow, that's fantastic. That's a lot of uh, is un unnecessary responsibility, also, no? A lot of times, a yeah. lot of times, and I keep telling people, please choose your mentors uh, wisely. I'm not because you can't really help people beyond a point. You can suggest things and all that, but no. Also, I I can't. I, there'll be 
things that you will read about me that you will say what an idiot and all that and yeah. i'm not going to change my life because of you you please you have your problems i have mine that's what if you want my opinion i'll give it to you but I'll, i've noticed that a lot of kids when they come and say when i feel that they i have impacted them a lot if they say i have your picture or i i i know everything that you've said or something like that and i ask them instantly have you been bullied do you have a domestic violence problem at home and if 10 out of 10 times it is yes people who follow us more <clears throat> tend to have so they turn to you because there's no male figure they can probably, turn to probably yeah uh, to, to uh, help elder them. brother yeah. father I, i don't have an elder brother for example and i have hemorrhoids I also have an anal fissure. Oh, uh, guys, <laughs> this pain, pain is unbelievable. Yeah, There's somebody time. standing behind you when you bent over. That's the guy you must talk to. Yeah, I took Chinappa's name. I have. You have told me that he is a bandit in his hand. Oh, what more metaphors do you want to use, guys? <laughs> okay, let's get back to our plan. So we talked about uh, these are the generic ones: the short, the fat, the this and that. Not to rubbish it and say that he is a bandit. Of course not. Hmm. Uh, our, our family members, all of we've seen people around us, yeah, yeah. not us. Going through all this, what are the other slightly more sophisticated, if you like, or you know, more select problems that you that you I deal with? I just had a email about <clears throat> a man who's gotten married hmm. to a, somebody who's not from his culture or Saukaj. language. <laughs> right i heard it's <laughs> <laughs> just kidding <laughs> uh and they live with his her mother their his mother hmm. who's recently had a issue saas bahu issue language issue uh food she's a non vegetarian they're vegetarian they live in chennai oh. so tamrams and all and uh, plus there's some friend who keeps poking you know bff the bay or whatever that whoever you know that kind of a guy who keeps uh, texting her saying you know uh, dissing the husband saying you know, i understand his my shoulder and all oh, all the problems one email <laughs> was like a, okay, okay this, this guy is, is going through these are five episodes so <laughs> i so obviously i can i said i i won't be able to talk about all these problems in one episode because you're the guy who would be trying to get the girl <laughs> right, from the side ha ha theek hai i'm there for you so i wrote my solutions <laughs> which is to him lots of lot huh. on a very lengthy email Hmm. But on the friend episodes. part I said you know what you should you should invite him over become a friend because hmm. three reasons one the bro code applies once once you become friends don't cross that line yeah the friend won't diss you in yeah. front of your wife yeah. so the bro code applies two you will now be in charge in control of of situations you three <laughs> you can also con- uh, confide in him nahi but do you see the other four, side or you can hate friends in jest Yeah, you can. No, but one thing, one thing. Once he crosses that line where huh. she can discuss the husband ka issues with mm-hmm. him, mm-hmm. that's the line that's crossed, right? Yeah. Once you do that Absolutely. as a friend, yeah. you suddenly become because that's the yeah. biggest confident you can yeah. have, right? Yeah. Where we're discussing what I don't like about my spouse or my parents. You're yeah. crossing a line yeah. Yeah. which you. So I'm saying, isn't that like dangerous in any case? It is. See, either you you fight about it or you do something about it. Uh, yeah. You maneuver yourself in a position of control. So the fact that she's reaching out to you—is it a positive thing, or you think it's like? So is she trying to save no, her situation? The, the guy reached out to me. Oh, sorry, sorry. The guy is reaching out. No, does he want to save the situation? Does he, he want wants to, to save the situation? So he does want to save yeah, the situation. Yeah, yeah. He wants to stay in the marriage. Yeah, he's not. Uh, it's a love marriage. Me. obviously no, i'm presuming it's a love marriage because i arrange getting a veg non veg let's take a chance guys <laughs> wow that's amazing and the south cultures are so strong also once you get in there it's not easy you can't just change it and this As is the also bjp a, tried and this is this is also a problem that <laughs> men face <laughs> probably indian men more than others because there is a marriage there's a wife there's a mother in the house there's uh, a girlfriend there's girlfriend somewhere now thanks rags <laughs> always positive positive impact <laughs> and uh, everything becomes your responsibility i mean it when you read that email you're like yeah man everything becomes your responsibility your career suddenly you have to take care of her you have to take care of him she's telling you about the other girl the same thing yeah that's men men face this thing of um, being providers being strong and being therefore everyone your your family your health your kids your boss your friends everything it's too much man it's a lot and, and there are issues with ragu i've been saying they should allow us two days off as men in the week yeah. and you yeah. choose it not saturday sunday only you just take two days like, today i'm not a man no, it's not possible yeah, yeah. i'm not i'm yeah. not doing it man. really man because yeah. there's it's it's relentless and of course women have their own issues with always having to you know they also don't have days off being a mother or being yeah. a wife or anything like that 
that's a different podcast we are talking about men because True. women have been expressing themselves men don't that's a although that's i can see you guys with long wigs and sarees and, you know, <laughs> i'll be tuning in you're yeah. the move man man come on yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> big words move move yeah, male yeah. boobs right Ajay, yeah. i know what yeah. no, no. no, i heard you say boob Oh, not allowed to say boob. <laughs> no, what no. kind of culture are we in? There? I can't no. say boob. He I... can he can imagine you in a sari and long hair because he was Ravan and you were Surpanaka. I was not there. I what? was not part of that. Show. It's possible. I was, I was Ravan. He was Surpanaka. I don't remember I who was part of that. Show. Yes, you were. Was I? Bro, we yeah, had no budget. Baba, you all had to disguise and do <laughs> he things. He was. He did a woman for a day. Remember with Maria Goretti, he was a girl. So you mean was... Maria was so terrible we chose him? <laughs> <laughs> Maria, I'm sorry. This is what he's saying, <laughs> man. <laughs> Yeah, we we were we were in many of the we were bullied. I, now do you come back to the Delhi stories? Let me tell you about the fucking lunch breaks with TV18 <laughs> when they were a young group. Lunch break was like six o'clock ki flight Delhi ka Mumbai Delhi ki flight, which means four o'clock you're searching for taxi driver. Main ne jaunga, main ne jaunga, all that shit. Yeah. And you motivate one guy, usme mummy jaega. Finally, you know where I drive the cab, he sits in the back, something like that. You come there, red eye flight, kid crying on the plane, blah blah blah. Economy class, ten thousand people around you, all Punjabi accents. You come, you speak like a northern when you come out. Or a jee, or a go. Already like that, but then you come out. You come out, they send you straight to work. Okay, I mean that's their fault. This is the way the system was. There was no food till four thirty. <laughs> Raghu Rajiv are mad about their job, so they don't really think so much about food. But I used to go mad, bro. There was nothing. There was a guy called Pradeep. We had a lovely yeah. guy. Yeah, Pradeep. Yeah. Pradeep was the he was Bengali guy, but Delhi Bengali guy, so he's Delhi. <laughs> he would give you the Delhi answer for everything. Uh, so, कुछ कुछ लाएगा ना खाने के लिए क्या चाहिए? So he said burger, burger. I would also make it easy burger, pizza, जो भी नो whatever. So he'd be like burger, आ जाएगा. It never came. <laughs> Raghu Rajiv, it never came. We shot and we shot. Ninety six, okay. Ninety seven, okay. Ninety eight, okay. Every people, time Pradeep was on the set, I would feel so sad. And people who have seen Big Boss understand his relationship yeah, with food. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's deja vu. It's all like coming back. Really, really. The trauma Oof, it was so painful. No Tell water. me about it, brother. No water, no food. You guys are unbelievable. You you were like camels. These two, <laughs> yeah. I've never seen them tired. I've never seen one of them look at the other one and say, "Oh, man, so much longer." Never. They're always ready to shoot more. Yeah. You have to slowly break that spirit. <laughs> Raji is really easier to break. You can distract him. You can Raji, they look at her ass. I'm not a not a woman, just like an animal. And Raghu would be Raghu would be inside the third project of the day. You know, Scorsese's seventh film would be made at seven in the evening. Oh, by the way, how many locations you used to shoot now in yeah, one day? Man, yeah. Bosk, imagine what you no did. No budget. What you did is like it's like records. Because today with money and all that, you'll be shooting one eighth of that in yeah. a day. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. we you went yeah. we went to five locations, yeah. Gurgaon. I mean the Tri State area <laughs> we would do. <laughs> yeah. From Noida we would go to Delhi proper. Without any permissions. No yeah, permission. Permission. <laughs> 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 what a lovely word. <laughs> Just go shoot till something yeah. happens then. Get in the car, well, leave. Uh, I mean, roadies must have been a breeze for you sitting in one desk, <laughs> yeah. you know, abusing people. Yeah. Just being a Delhi boy, yeah. yeah. He's stuck in traffic. People would oh, always oh, give oh. me food because they oh. thought I was hangry. Yeah, yeah. I'd just look at them a certain bro, way, bro. and dude, food would come. Brother, roadies, my budget, tha, I saw. Everything was there, not like our early days. But like I said, it was a great schooling. You, you should never disrespect that school. No, no, yeah. no. None of us having, knew. None of us yeah, knew. But we're having fun with it now. But once, do you know we three shot seventy-eight links? Yeah. In GNU, seventy-eight yeah. yeah. links. Wow! I want to challenge anyone to shoot seventy-eight links in in daylight. We had no lights, so it was like lights, ka, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Seven-eight hour shift. That's it. But once again, over here, I want to talk about this also. Yeah. Links with you was a different experience. No, but you framed it and all. Yeah, kept, yeah, all that was happening. Was but you, like, you took care of it. Normally, no. normally, an anchor requires an anchor script and and. Why and did that. you? Okay. Didn't waste how time did you? <laughs> luckily, how did you say? Yeah. Why did you think, or how come you thought of being a VJ? No, I enjoyed the process. You were having fun. There were no, lots no, of young you, girls. No, no, no when, argument. When you were growing up, huh. you must have looked at no somebody VG and say, "There okay. was just VJ started just couple of years before us." Right. Yeah. Yeah. Rahul Khanna was like the first yeah. VJ male, and Noni, Pony, Ayaz, yeah, yeah. yeah. one or two of these girls were there. Yeah, so yeah. Then we were the next. Sophia, Lord. Noni. Luckily, thank God. Once I had VJ hunt, I wouldn't have come anywhere. Can you imagine? I would have made the school. Yeah. <laughs> all these rody hunts and all these hunts yeah. that you had. Yeah. Where, where would we have been seen? We were lucky that way. Yeah. I, I told Saukar, you know. You got in. <laughs> Don't ever mention how. <laughs> That was the last. <laughs> now it's a tough, tough act to follow. Do you know, I just uh, I had a meeting with MTV yesterday. Oh no! But they're all different people now, no? Debbie. Debbie still there? I had a meeting with Debbie. Yeah. And she's like the boss or something. I mean, she's sorry uh, guys. Debbie used to be a Debbie, producer, junior to them. Back whose brother in the was day, an MBA gold medalist who gave up education to become an idiot producer and spend more money than anybody else in the company. So and she's been should there be jailed, in the company. But he's a lovely guy. Twitch, this is her twentieth year. Twenty years. Twenty years. And she was just like his sister. We used to hang around. Yeah, yeah. 
What Buildings nepotism, have changed. Yaar. Bosses, everybody around her has changed wow. again and again. Huh. Okay, but she's there, and I had a meeting with Maybe her. Maybe she's yesterday. paying off Davis' debts, her brother's debts <laughs> to MTV. So I told her an idea. I told her that you know we should do one uh, '90s blast. Huh. where we do the same shows with the same people not repeat telecast <laughs> not remake but like reboot like do it again do so bakra with same again from youth yeah. channel to chuth channel we yeah. actually make that step yeah. guys presenting the fat old age, old bitches i'm not with the girls i'm not with the girls <laughs> <laughs> So, wow, Chirapa is doing the same it. thing. He's still doing select. He's just spinning his tracks and all. Yeah, he's okay. He's still yeah. doing exactly the same. Well, it'll be fun, I think, yeah. if it happens. Just yeah. for for a lark. Yeah. Wow. God, I don't want to work with any new producers and all, man, bro. You. But been... your life, what must have been? I I remember him being so. When Bakra came out and this became this national huh. phenomenon. Huh. Yeah. I was in a flight with him. We were going to shoot somewhere, maybe Bangalore or something. And the uh, this guy comes one. Uh, flight attendant and says uh, the pilot is calling you and he looks at me as a certain look i said wow you're going into the cockpit you know see yeah. if you can invite me also i also want to go he says no he's not calling me he's just going to take me there and say bakra and his eyes were dead <laughs> his eyes had defeat in them he had oh, resigned that would happen yes oh, and he shit. went and i heard bakra on the yeah. on the on the speakers okay and yeah. everybody's laughing and clapping and he comes back game <laughs> and, and he sits down and goes back to and you don't act all sporting her huh, <laughs> you can't act like a prick yeah, that's what you got to be all sporting this is yeah, probably like happening gag, to him yeah, yeah. for the eighth time this week really? okay in a flight <laughs> yeah. and everybody thinks it's his first idea hey, the compile yeah. is Oh yeah, he's spot on. Raja, <laughs> at least someone Bakra understands my pain. That's why. Go to the segue. Men's Cyclopedia was born <laughs> to help people understand. You can empathize properly with yeah. what's going on. No, no. I also used to see him in uh, you know colleges. Hey, what is my show now? He used to go. <laughs> They're interviewing me. You the whole thing changed. Shut up. Uh, you know, <laughs> remember that Shimla? Uh, That's some a pro girls' school or something. <laughs> Don't call it Shimla. Some girls school. It sounds CD now. Beads, like Saint Beads, Saint Beads. Wow, it's fabulous, yeah. 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 So we went there to shoot, hmm. and anywhere, any, no, even at co-ed colleges, we used to go. Girls used to go nuts after the Rocha. Shout Nikhil, Nikhil, no. <laughs> <laughs> I used to say, how do you manage? How do you cope with so much fear? But Rajiv, I'll tell you one thing that What? you mentioned. You and I used to discuss girls all the time. Yeah. Raghu and I never discussed girls. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand why. We, yeah, we talked a lot. But yeah. he and I never talked ladies. Yeah. We only talked about ladies. Yeah. And you had the girlfriend on the side. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married to her now. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Whatever, bro. <laughs> I took it to Saint Beats, across Punjab, across Himachal, across South, North, no, East, no, you West. Can I ask you something? Yeah. How much of your being Mr. Funny Guy is to do with girls? As you were growing up, bro, I couldn't believe it. You know, like in college, we struggled to you know get intros, just like you guys. Maybe a little better than you guys, because your stories are horrible. But actually, you had problems with girls. You had problems with guys who hated you having girls. Yeah. So yours is a different yeah, yeah. track. We'll come to that. My track was that we were like always eight guys and one girl, always you know trying to put out a chick was so difficult. And then suddenly MTV, as we started getting more famous, girls would come to us. Yeah. yeah. So that uh, yeah. as it happened to you later on, you know, with roadies and yeah, all, yeah, suddenly we were like, what? We weren't trained for this. <laughs> a girl coming or somebody catching your eye or you're in a party, somebody. Is looking at you, yeah. you, know, you know, yeah, yeah, like. Just yeah. when did this happen? I all my life I'm that guy in the room who's got being loud, and also they look at me, and nothing happened. And now I just have to stand there, and a little bit of attention comes. So yes. this, that was a huge yeah. change. So it was yeah. a, so it was a thing to do. Okay, I, I'll stand out, and girls like funny guys. I picked up the guitar. I don't know if it was because of girls or anything, but it everything hurt. was because of girls at that age. I think let's so. let's be. I think trying to be funny in school was mostly to kill the lecture. Yeah. Ah. If you can try and be funny and whatever, and just yeah. have a conversation, you know, filibustering yeah. what the Americans yeah. say in Parliament, yeah. whatever Congress, do the same things. I used to do that a lot. Try and chat so that they don't talk. Yeah, the teachers talk too much. I don't mind teachers, but you know, tone it down. Yeah. I think uh, today's kids hmm. have the same issues on steroids. I'll tell you why. Because we got bullied in school, college, whatever. People today, boys, are getting bullied in on social media, on yep. different yeah. apps, on you know probably Zomato if you order. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. Getting... Itna kam samosa le pein jo. Iske liye mere deliver karne hai barish pe. No, the point is uh, getting the girls' attention. There are yeah, there are many places where you can reach out to girls, but then there are so many 
guy is that it becomes you're not competing at different places with yeah. the same don't you think oh, that the, i think the uh, issue competition is level is huge yeah, yeah. and they yeah. say that any app is a dating app if you're indian enough is <laughs> it true what, that's what they say i don't know look. rishi rishi yeah, is wise he's not a, rishi he's engineer not a, yeah, because he's on every app just like a jungly child and find girls which shaving brush should i get hello ma'am <laughs> uh, yeah but they say a lot of men are driven by the love for women no that's not a, a it's not a bad thing is it it's not a bad thing no yeah. but uh, see disrespecting women and loving women are two different things people confuse them sometimes in india yeah. see i feel looking for a i'm going to sound please sound like a choose <laughs> this is the show for that we call people no, only I'm for going that. to sound wise old man kind of a no. thing no wait hold to nahi hai main hu but seriously come on i think i think looking for girls is different from looking for a connection a lot of us look for girls as a almost but a that's a normal guy thing right simple yeah. just a test level goes up yeah. you feel happy in a yeah. room girls give a little attention yeah. i know what you're saying connection is something like yeah, much I mean, deeper and yeah and you try that you get married then after 10 years how do you disconnect it's so hard <laughs> <laughs> yeah no good point good point but i think that fuels a lot of uh, people artists and engineers yeah. also mm-hmm. engineers more out of frustration <laughs> hey, don't look at me you want to get the degree you went inside in this yeah. college for 5 years no my fault yeah <laughs> but you all are engineers no no MBAs. we dropped out we dropped out for what you were studying something i had 12 literature. literature literature yeah and then wow. i dropped out you studied economics, economics. Hmm. economics that literally sounds better <laughs> <laughs> you're a delhi boy with a half a degree in economics i mean like just every body in freaking gurgaon nah, yeah. yeah that's true do you have your say, uh, property and all there in delhi still no yeah getting the last one we're getting rid of it now oh how sad yeah, yeah. life has changed my my family is here now that's true but i mean they, uh, no but down, but my friends are my there my friends are there so i mean delhi still is if we go there it's what do you we, stay now friends houses oh so you don't have, you haven't kept that one house no. with all the money they made here government please inquire <laughs> where's the paisa gone ah uh, mere paas ghar nahi hai kuch nahi hai where's the money gone <laughs> switzerland <laughs> <laughs> every two months fucking switzerland hair weave <laughs> i'm still waiting for it to come actually yeah you think yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this will this will change the game completely no no but <clears throat> oh. in your head okay what what do you think give me just five things that you think guys are struggling with today Oh, you mean? But it's also age group also, no? Because my uh, yeah. age group is now yeah. different kind of guys. Yeah, it's different. Let's We're say struggling with health issues and all that, which we don't even think late about. Late teens and mid twenties. Yeah. No, there the girls will be the number one issue, and yeah. because of girls, all the other issues yeah. come in. Why am I fat? Why am I complex? Why am I yeah. thin? Why am I? Yeah. Well, basically, un- discomfort with the identity yeah, who they are. Yeah. yeah. That, and we the all pressure. That. We you always know, this pressure that. to become a man. At 18 and 19, you think I want to get into fights. I want to dominate other men. All the girls must look at me. If she doesn't look at me this certain way, she yeah. has disrespected my manhood. I must get back at her. This, I must put her in her place. You know, all these things I are happening. I want to talk too. about this guy, uh, Andrew Tate. Do you know? I'm a big fan. <laughs> to an extent, <laughs> that guy's an asshole. I don't like him. <laughs> Monica, Andrew, you come here and see can what I. Can you she see the back of his T-shirt? <laughs> can you just show it? Just, yeah, just turn. I love to stand on. Which is slightly vulgar, no? No, it's not vulgar, man. Since we're talking about assholes, if I wanted to listen to an asshole, I'd read, I'd hear the Andrew Tate's podcast. I'd <laughs> fart. Mm. <laughs> Right, so, so I, I don't no, think no, it's so, that simple. Some, so something. I'll, I'll tell you this. Like the, the main. Okay, go on. He starts. He starts with something universal. Okay, you know. Uh, of course, uh, men have the responsibility and the role uh, to provide for. He'll start with that. Mm. From there, the next. Very soon, he'll go into, and that's why women should never argue with men, and men can uh, have multiple affairs, and where while women can't. That it, he he goes. From point to, it's a slippery slope. No, so it's male, female thing. I don't agree with at all. What? I agree with no, you. No, no. Okay, one second. Yeah, but, sorry. But the other things you agree with? No, I agree with certain things, such as the masculinity of the urban individual hmm. across the world, which is gone. Like in the pandemic, rushing to wear the mask, rushing to just accept everything, rushing to just feel fear, and also simple things like when I go into the gym, I keep repeating this. I keep seeing uh, the urban male just have the. Hard to lift. See, or from here, to it. this is. But he's very aggressive with his wife. Or he's very aggressive, you know, at work, that. where he can bully people and say has a sense of validation. But where he needs to show his aggression, mm. like in a sports field, in a gymnasium, or even in in a place, he doesn't do that. So I I do feel that that uh, entire the, there's a certain masculine See, you've choking said something, that has happened. You've said something universal. Huh. That's the Andrew Tate uh, right. methodology. Huh. We call him Tate. From here, <laughs> from here, the the solution will be bizarre. It'll be bizarre, and you know. The <clears throat> early teens, no, even eleven year olds, manliness at the right spot. I'm, I'm all for that. Yeah, Rajiv, one second. I really feel that uh, Andrew Tate has equated manliness with misogyny. 
Yeah. And you might say it's besides the point for us. It is the point. Sexual conquest. I don't agree with that. It is yeah. the point. His this thing. It's like saying. Uh, uh, so Mrs. Lincoln, Control of a woman. Mrs. Is Lincoln. The point. Apart from that incident that happened, how was the play? It's <laughs> like the, that incident wow. is the play. Nice, nice, nice story. <laughs> I'm, I'm just telling you. How dark that, is Raghu today? No man. No he goes man. back to an assassination of two three hundred years ago. That's all part. People can say, hey man, the Britishers have really done good for yeah, India yeah, in yeah, the yeah. infrastructure and all that. But no, that's like slavery. Hey, no, 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 People are saying there are benefits to slavery. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Come yes, on. People are saying Who gave you cricket? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Lalit Modi. <laughs> but he's British. Uh, but what, uh, uh, there you go. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is, uh, I think men deserve. Why do we get to Andrew Tate anyway? A better role model. He. We are talking about men's issues. He yeah. has he has kind oh. of cornered the market on that, oh. and I think that's I didn't dangerous. See that. I didn't see that. It's, he, that's so you're dangerous. the DC uh, localized version where you go away from his thinking but address people with problems. I think we need to normalize men being vulnerable, vulnerable and and honest with each other without women hating. Man, it's not about that. I yeah. think I think there's a lot we have to talk about. Little as men. women hating allowed. <laughs> that is unnatural. <laughs> that is after after <laughs> marriage. Ten percent. <laughs> after marriage, we have a separate room. <laughs> Hello, Raju, come. <laughs> Just want a bitch. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so that's, that's that's the point. Do you, do you get where we're no, coming I get, from? No, I get where you're coming from. I don't want to. I don't want to fight for Andrew Tate. The other people I can stand. <laughs> I mean, if I have to do a crusade, I mean, come on, guys. Yeah. yeah. We'll do it for Winston yeah. Churchill. But Churchill was a racist. There's no question about no, that. No, but, but I like Churchill. I like Churchill's speeches, and yeah. I felt what he did in World War II cannot be questioned. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You know, but why are we discussing Churchill? I, I I I'm like want, a villain now. Because, so because, because Winston Churchill was your favorite uh, world leader. Winston Churchill was my most impressive world leader. Yeah, favorite is a difficult word. How do I know that? We must have we've been in cars for hours. <laughs> Rajiv, you and I talked <laughs> while Raghu brooded, <laughs> waiting for his day to come. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, we have to take a quick break. Apparently, I've just been told by these ugly people in front of us, not you. Oh, okay, maybe. I mean, but definitely them. And then we'll come back and we'll again talk about Man's Cyclopedia. What is the actual name? Men's Cyclopedia. Men's Cyclopedia. Men's Cyclopedia. Men's Cyclopedia. Men's Cyclopedia. Men's Cyclopedia. And that's the same with the podcast. It's a pun it's on Encyclopedia. I've got it, beta. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really treating me like an old uncle now. <laughs> He's saying it slowly also. You know? <laughs> it's a pun on. We'll take a break. <laughs> These photographs, they are the echoes of a nation's journey through time. Did you know that our national anthem is based on a Bangla poem called Bharat Bhagya Bidata? Ah, yes. This picture tells me the story of how a laboratory was set up in a cattle shed to launch India's first rocket. These photographs tell us the stories of India some tales are well known, while others lie buried in the sands of time. I'm Kunal Vijayka. Join me as I tell you a hundred stories that made India, India. A century of stories presented by IDFC First Bank. Weekly episodes starting from the 14th of August. Subscribe to this channel. There is no, no I'm not. I'm no longer that guy. Let's uh, welcome back uh, with uh, no longer those guys. Uh, Raghu Rajiv, that's their new biography. Uh, how we've changed. They look exactly the same. Just now they beat up the watchman for staring at them. Venkis huh? yeah, boys, toughest guys of India. West, West Delhi. You come from West Delhi, you can take on anything, right? Is that right? Come yeah. on, man. Huh? That was then. Yeah. Like five minutes ago. Yeah. Not now. <laughs> hey guys, there's a confession. Uh, out here, Rishi, the engineer, mm. who we can't see, but everybody knows him, mm. and Sparish, our producer, they both tried to get on roadies and they were both uh, told to F off. I, understandable. Yeah. And I Rishi can't. especially because he doesn't have a bike. He doesn't have a license. He doesn't have a cycle. <laughs> he has nothing. He still came. You know, he borrowed somebody's helmet and walked in like he was a biker and all that. And you guys were really rude to him. Does anybody, uh, has there been repercussions after that? Like show ke baad? Yeah. I, I, for five or six years, I had uh, I had to have security. Because <laughs> because I kept beating people up. I needed people to, nah, no. I just thought that anybody who saw me, if they're a group of five, six boys, all right? And they come and slap me around. They take you on because you're the tough guy yeah. on TV. No, no, especially man. at any, like a party or a club. Oh. After you go out, some any, liquid huh. courage. Yeah. There'll be five, six boys, guy groups. Oh, fuck. 
they'll be girls they they come to fight with these yeah, 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 they yeah, come they come straight away got into aggressive fights, behavior yeah. Yes. yeah yeah i've gotten yeah. into fights i've had things thrown at me and those were guys so they, for no reason they just not, i don't drink it but they never spoke to them no just wow. like that that happened and then uh, and all the girls i met they had these uh, weird uh, fetishes and fantasies man I stay to- <laughs> program is continuing don't worry about it yeah go on, go <laughs> no i mean they when they're talking to me it's like they're talking to the rudy's guy right oh and so they want you to I, shout I, at I've them i've had got it's yeah, an snm yeah, game abuse. here yeah i've wow. i've heard request ki will you hit me and will you you know abuse me and this i'd be like no wow huh? why no <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no good boy and rotate good boy <laughs> so this is in public this is in public also yeah So uh, that's you're there all, all at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do they treat you then? Similar, so pangas, similar, pangas only similar. with him. No, also, no, no, I used to both. go to my son's school. Hmm. Uh, anyway, if there's a function or an event, probably I'm judging that or whatever. But now these are proper fathers and all. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but drinking the, also. The but, kids, the, yeah. but the teachers. The teachers were drinking. Say, no, no, no. Say, oh. <laughs> why don't you, why don't you abuse? I would say no. I wouldn't. The students will be like sir please gali dena na no nahi dunga i'm not paid yet <laughs> wow <laughs> that's not so bad though they just want to hear their avatar for a second kind of yeah, thing yeah i guess maybe i mean i suppose the girls sing the same thing to you they just want a slice no, no, of that no no sometimes it wasn't did but you never took it up you never took advantage of the situation as a <laughs> testosterone <I'm>... fueled <laughs> young boy not, at that time not that i'm confessing to okay fine fair <laughs> enough and to take my foot har har kone mein and to take hai don't have to go all the way to where is it romania oh, far far away all right let's get back to the to men 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 cyclopedia men cyclopedia <laughs> men cyclopedia okay so we've discussed the, uh, the problems do the people when they write uh, do they write again so like like uh, once i do the fat yeah, shaming do then do i come back to you and say ki maine ye kya maine I won't call it ilaj, but many a process right. Well, here. we're still in early days, so <clears throat> it hasn't happened yet. But I'm, but I keep encouraging no, I'm people. I'm asking you the very important the point: point what happens after that? Love line, we have the same problem. It's like once we yeah, give you the yet, answer, yeah. then it's almost like we don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, it hasn't started yet on Men's Encyclopedia, but it happens on my Instagram. It has been. Uh, we encourage people to to share. come back and tell us how it went. Mm-hmm. We yeah, encourage no. people to. Sometimes people okay. do. guys now by chance <coughs> supposing it didn't work out hmm. Let, let's say the example we have discussed already about the height ki issue hmm. to aapne kya kaha exactly you had you given some funny uh, comments as no, well no 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 oh. a uh, couple of things if you are musically inclined pick up a like a guitar or drums so because distract the height, with that yeah, height yeah 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 is out of the equation yeah. if unless you're so into small ki the drum is taller than <laughs> <laughs> if you are in sports or active physically hmm. uh, pick up ping pong which which actually <coughs> favors the shorter people compared to the t- taller people if you are it's fun to say ping pong <laughs> yeah and uh, if if you are social pick up um, uh, salsa dancing hmm. yeah you because you that. you are aligned and and you fit better and it's yeah. much more romantic very sexual i did salsa dancing with jalak diklaja <laughs> i fell in love with the girl immediately she yeah, didn't was in help it <laughs> yeah because it is very sexual yes. very, uh, yeah so these are and and, and when i do it it doesn't look like that i know <laughs> <laughs> So there no, the are some, some things that, that every boy has uh, like you became you're so funny everybody else would have no matter how tall or studly looking that guy was the girl was engaged with you and yeah that I got the ladies when I started, <laughs> when I started playing the guitar that was something that you know even Ranveer used to say he was very like insecure about for the longest yeah. time yeah. and um, even uh, now he locks up the women folk when he <laughs> when he's in Chandigarh <laughs> Ranveer ladies upar <laughs> straight away uh, oh. so yeah being short is not not the issue not having Something to, you know, pop is the problem. So you need a self-esteem height. evaluation thingy. Yeah, could be based on something else. You have. It's like a weapon. Self-image yeah. is something that everybody struggles with. Yeah. You know, if it's not height, it's something else. It's your. Okay, let's tell them about you guys. I don't know if this is correct, but weren't you all exceptional dancers? Wasn't that one yeah. of the thing? Yeah. I mean, they were really we were good. Actually, known as the dancing twins. The dancing twins, and that that avatar is what. Uh, oh, dude, we made you famous in the college circuit. College, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. And, and absolutely. And girls like that because girls the, love it. At that time, at least there were not too many men who were happy to be dancers no, they and weren't. good they dancers. Were, no, no, and they were really good dancers. No, there was uh, there was this. We used this, to get into fights with guys. We used to yeah. dance, and this used to play out. So that fight that happened yeah. when he was when he had an injury yeah. happened because of dancing. We would go yeah. to a party. We would dance. The girls would come. come. The guys would come in a wave. The next wave would be the guys. 
This is Delhi. Yeah. yeah. Don't happen in Bombay. <laughs> Bombay was so lazy. Girls got dancing. We're going to die. We can drink in peace. It's a really different concept altogether. Yeah. So that that was this jealous uh, boyfriends. Even they didn't have any skills not, actually. No, they don't even need the to be boyfriends. Is, They're just the guys. They're not looking at us. They're looking at you. You who are you? You know who I am. And that starts. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it still happens. It used to happen a lot. It even in our like uh, choreography team, yeah. uh, all these. guys who used to be like gundas or whatever you know uh, karan johar uh, those guys <laughs> who never used to uh, you know get a chance to talk to girls saw the choreography team and say you know here's where you get to dance with girls so hmm. they used to come and bully us try and bully us or hmm. request us by the end of it they became friends yaar yaar hame bhi le lo hame bhi aur us ladki ko everybody would come with a recommendation mujhe wo ladki chahiye mere uske saath dance karna so their idea was this is our choreography team <laughs> so you been selecting oh. people well before rodi yeah. <laughs> just different yeah. way yeah. but True. just to understand you guys were dancing you would just start dancing am i right yeah, yeah we had the guys, same the girls steps. would come and hang with you it's oh. not like you came with two partners no. and performed no no no, 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 no. So you just did your thing yeah. Yeah. and then suddenly the girls would be like these guys are interesting finally two guys in delhi who can dance and twins yeah. at and that time so yeah yeah wow Exception. Even. You still do that, guys. That parties once after a few drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth, boys. <laughs> this is another skill we discussed with Raji, but I don't know if Raghu will do it. Which is they both were gym carry. Uh, like ninety nine percent knuckle would be done. I did that. I did that in MTV. You did it a lot. I did it. Are you also used to do it to yeah. entertain yeah. us also offline? Like, yeah. You know, we're, we're killing yeah. time, etc. So can we have a little bit of gym carry? No, 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 no. Oh, come on, bro. dude. That part of me is even gym carry. Gym carry is not a bad even thing. Even gym carry is not gym carry no, anymore. Do you know that? That's okay. <laughs> He can't. He can't take the world anymore. That's fine. <laughs> no, dude, I just can't. I swear. But I'll tell you one thing. I don't know if you the remember mask, this. The mask used to do a lot of the mask uh, yeah. movements and all, which I remember. We used <laughs> to. Yeah. We used to also. Uh, That doing better, Rajiv. Why? <laughs> <laughs> we used to read each other's minds. I don't know if you remember this. Or did we never do that party trick? You must have. But we, I don't think I took it seriously. Yeah. Can you do it right now? No. No. Huh? It's But can you? You think you can? I don't know. Uh, no, it happens, but I don't think it's reading like, each other's mind. I can read Spurge's mind, you know, because like this, <laughs> like it's empty. So you know, I mean, khali hai bhai. No, just kidding. Yeah. All right. Before we go into the um, the AMAs, we have plenty. We'll only do as much as time we have, which is not that much. Let's quickly. Uh, now that you've reached this, I want two questions. Not a criticism. Why? Why only audio? One and two. Uh, why only ten minutes? I'll tell you a couple of things. See, we've just entered. Uh, the podcasting world, and there's a reason why we did it. It's because we wanted to express ourselves in a manner that we felt comfortable with doing and stuff, and reconnect with people who actually wanted to connect with us. And mm -hmm. we really think podcasting is is an excellent uh, medium. But we we're very young uh, in this yes, field. Yes, yes, we are. Continue in this field, and <clears throat> we would like advice from you, what we can do to to grow it. Let us know. Let me think. While while he moves, he moves. Let me think. Yeah. Grow it. Fifteen eggs a day. So you think you think we should do video? I don't know why you didn't do video. You're so expressive guys. I, I, so we've had this argument here with our team and all from the beginning from 2015. The first it was an audio medium. Mm. That's more important. But so we realize mm. nowhere in the world, yeah. wherever you look, is it audio really anymore? Yeah. And if it's audio, there's a really strong reason why. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, we just don't have the infrastructure. <laughs> Uh, or you really ugly. So I can understand why you would not express yourself as you did, or did you think that would take you back to roadies or something? I think I think we are to going towards. I think we are going towards uh, uh, video, the video yeah. Yeah. version what, of. Why do you still have your looks? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Thank you, man. So the and why ten minutes, bro? Why can't be a little longer? The ten minutes means a little uh, brief. Um, if it's a conversation, I think it can hold for longer. Mm -hmm. If we are talking about a specific thing, on a certain thing, you exhausted like, in ten. It's not exhausted in ten. I mean, it's. I don't think it's interesting beyond a point. I mean, you, we don't want it's to criticizing our fucking one hour plus. <laughs> no, no, no. If Raghu so and I get talking, I mean, just time. I'm not wasting time. Eleven no, no, no. minutes. <laughs> no, no. When it's not an interaction, when somebody is not contributing to the conversation and taking it in different directions, True. it gets old. It's a lecture. Old. It's, it's, a, a, it's a lecture. Yeah. Although you guys are always talking. I don't know. I, the, the conversation. The, we were enjoying that. We are playing a game, which you can play also when you listen to their show. Who's talking now? Because uh, if they are not yeah, visually yeah. present, their yeah, voices yeah. also sort of it's align. Same, yeah. And if you're not really we paying have the attention, same phone voice. no. Also, when you start having real short dialogues, yeah. then it's damn tough to pick up. But Raji began that the one that uh, we were just watching just before you came in, the one about the uh, short guy. Sorry, not the short guy, the guy with the problem with the height. Let's yeah. not give labels. <laughs> and clearly, Rajiv. And then Raghu starts, and then Rajiv, and then suddenly becomes shorter, crisper conversation. Then we didn't know. The fun was like, "Who's the voice?" Think of that as a point, huh? Yeah, it is. You can have your sponsor, your branding the moment is all that, and then suddenly, ah, catching. Got it. But yeah, I think we are uh, heading towards. Uh, 
a visual conversation medium like we are having now mm-hmm. uh, i think it's interesting but do you find interesting people enough you do so many episodes no, but i have... don't want to talk, discuss us so us is an ngo see we have a lot of uh, comedians <laughs> the comedians are too many in india and there's not enough work so we just keep them here and let them talk you know and then they realize okay this is not for us we should do something else like engineering or whatever so like that we cured a lot of comedians unfortunately the whole virdas gang all were earlier i got to save all you guys you know, there's so many people we got to just you know kapil sharma i mean the guy 5 minutes away from reaching couldn't get parking now super hit that's all our fault we Let's lost see. another engineer there you man. go bro yeah <laughs> we could have used him ah, yeah really good all right bro before you guys run away ah. and the old man normally we have a fourth person but because two of you we thought uh, fourth person would be redundant and that fourth person is an anchor who normally asks uh, the questions that okay. come in uh i want to get the japanese one first yeah here it is because in case we run out of time now th- this is seems like a japanese name i don't think he's lying so obviously you guys have reached lots of cultures uh hold on this is people who have written yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. The AMAs, explain what they the amaze explain what they amaze ask me anything i know that i know that we would have done it live i thought these were your questions so we oh. advertise that you guys are coming on oh. and take the name of the person uh, yeah. now you can see my school master tell me what to do after <laughs> fucking okay, under because I'm, I'm, what I'm a failure still doing <laughs> it wrong i will get my padma shri <laughs> i will come here and he will still say broja <laughs> say it properly <laughs> tell you uh So uh, now come, explain to me some people have written in the yeah. written in so if it was people. live they would the stream would okay. just keep asking question and you'd right. be like shut up stop it okay. but here we've just edited down to 5 6 that we hopefully can fit in all right and okay. because we've told them you're all are coming on and a lot of right. we have regular Let's listeners do it. Okay. okay we don't have regular listeners but we have friends from japan i think so because the name is a little it's a uh, kamijo tauma kamijo i hope i say correctly not this ragu yeah. how's working with brahmananda sir uh <laughs> he makes the this is his point makes ridiculous expressions is it true your son is named rhythm i don't know what the connection is okay no these are two different things mm-hmm. my son's name is rhythm that is right and okay. uh, working with brahmanandam sir is a dream and still a dream there's a telugu film that i've done and okay. uh, brahmanandam sir is the biggest is just the most he's respected a legend there. and he's a legend right correct uh, and he's part of the film as well um i am i am in a scene with him but i am not I didn't shoot with him. I'm yet to meet him, and uh, I will is, let you the know. The scene will happen. No, no, it's the film is about to be released oh. next month actually. Okay. But uh, I'm hopefully I'm hopeful that I'll meet him uh, during the launch after this thing. So yeah, still waiting for that moment to happen. Please watch it. He's not. Uh, What if one of these great legends wants to be uh, like a Rody? <clears throat> I've had people come and say do my interview it, and I've told it happens like all the time. Whichever movie set we are in, all yeah. the uh, senior actors are like. All right. So you think you can like so, do an interview do for me? me you know? Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> and then you do humor them, huh? Yeah, you have to be interesting, yeah, for me to have an interview. And that's not possible. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rajiv, do you uh have to be hired as a twosome for every project? Uh Is this is this a requirement? <laughs> no, no. As, as he work? said, as he said is doing some the like a reality now. no mostly is always raghu rajiv together not really see uh, the thing is we work together ha huh. we have our own company as well yeah. and we do the same work right oh. so we always try and <coughs> see how we tackle com- projects we can... together together yeah. right so, but it's not it's not something that oh he'll do nothing that i'm not doing or i won't do anything that he's not doing no but a lot of times the things that people notice will be us together when but, i come on generally there's a requirement for a second person yeah and uh, we are probably most probably producing that okay so uh, but but uh, the com- what is the production company called scissor and comb <laughs> <laughs> head and shoulders Head- <laughs> <laughs> bruce wayne is uh, one of our regulars because okay. you may not know he works at night so in the day he's, he's free uh, what is the meaning of life okay this probably asked you this because you guys 40, are new to as philosophers yeah. 42 okay. no that's that's not the meaning of life that's it's the answer, answer to, to everything, everything. Yeah. Uh. what's the meaning of life yeah to you Oh, but that could be forty two then because that's the answer to everything. Also, <laughs> yeah. Uh, still trying to find out. Yeah, Rajiv. I would. I would say uh, trying to achieve your potential. Yeah, uh, I'll, the I'll, best I'll version some, of yourself. I'll say something similar. Uh, trying to understand life is the meaning of life. 
I think it's the ability to scratch your ass and nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are the things if you can really do, you feel proud. Yeah. And you go home, you know. That's I mean, I'm there. It's a funeral. Everybody's <laughs> upset. I put my hand in my pants. I had a good scratch. No one saw. <laughs> I really... Are they, is this wrong to think? No, I mean, no, no, absolutely it's, not, it's, man. This is, you feel like a, a champion, bro. Yeah, you are. It's like yeah. Wimbledon, man. <laughs> Five sets. Okay. But the next question uh, from Spaceman. Again, the kind of people who... <laughs> Maybe <in>. Musk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, please audition Cyrus for Big Boss. What the hell does that mean? Uh, bro, I learned Hindi thanks to them. Because they would take me to Delhi for five days and there was no English. Okay, but I would, but I would come back and I would sound like a Delhi boy for about 20 minutes yeah. off the plane, you know. Because they would talk and they're fast, as you know, being a boy from Delhi. And everybody talked in the sing-song way and you just yeah. come back like that. Your English also became like that for a little while. It took a little while to get out of it. Anji, so let's go huh, from here. Oh, Rajiv. Huh? Everything was like that. Everybody spoke like that. So you spent three, four days. What are you talking about? And then I'd say, I'd say Marathi ga is like Gandu or something. Missing, there'd be silence. <laughs> Where did that word come from? You know? <laughs> I, I'll never forget. My most beautiful moment was when I was on an elephant and they made me come down the Haryana. I met Haryana, Haryana's finest police okay. who hit the lati in front of the elephant, called me down. Uh, we were trying to promote something. Yeah. You guys weren't really involved. It was more uh, marketing. Mm. Okay. We were trying to promote something. We had banners and we were going around on elephants. Anyway. And when he's asked me, who is it? Who is it? So when he couldn't understand what I was saying, he said, Oh, Bangalore! <laughs> the first time I heard that expression. And I remember telling all the boys, and he said, this is beautiful. What have you been using? I want to go home now and get into a fight. I have got some power today. What are the MCBC, MC? I know, beautiful. It was beautiful the way they spoke. Yeah. I must say, Delhi abuse is something special, is it not? It is. If, Dude, I, people attribute it to me, but I was a product of my environment. You were? Yeah. And, and you took a lot of abuse also. Before you yeah. became this guy, you also yeah. guys who got into a lot of fights and all that. Yeah. Which people don't, not everybody knows this about you. Well, that's uh, part of growing yeah. up, I guess. And Rajiv, you won a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sunny, did you both get um, uh, any briefing about the role in uh, Tismar Khan? Or did you just accept such a villain role, legend villain role? Oh. Did you get some sort of research yeah. feedback? No, no, not the research feedback. The briefing was given to us that we have to talk at the same time, in a sing-song manner. That was the brief. High pitch, high pitch, highly and animated, and together coordinated. Was it fun? No, it was great fun <laughs> in retrospect. But at that time, being Siamese uh, conjoined twins, sorry, needed for us to remove our clothes, be in our underwear, and wear this contraption that really attached us to each other, and then wear these specially made clothes, which were. Now the real. problem is, once you do that, you can't get out of the vanity you can't. because so, it's not made for two people. So Nobody thought of that? Yeah. No, so we were lifted and like carried out and then we had to go somewhere. No, listen. We can't if sit one in the of car. Us, if, if one of us... Had to there are no chair, there's no bench. So oh. there were a chair. chair. None so of we're us can, just standing. Both of us can't sit. Mm. If we had to pee, if one guy has wow. to pee, shooting is over for 45 minutes because we all have to be taken to the vanity, thrust inside. We have to take off all our clothes, remove this thing. Now the other guy said, might as well pee. And he also <laughs> pees. Then you, this entire exercise has to happen. So it whose was, hand is used? <laughs> no? Dress the other. Eighties. Eighties. So no, they never so, shot faster in their lives. Huh? It was it was uncomfortable. It was great fun, but yeah. at that time it was uncomfortable. Nobody knows what goes through shooting. Yeah. They see yeah. the uh, final product yeah. and think what fun it must have been. Yeah. How many days of shooting like this? Quite a few, yeah. Quite a few. Yeah. In yeah. fact, uh, we were also working. Huh. So everybody was living there. A place called March Age. Right. Yeah. So uh, the whole entire unit is living there. So they wake up, have nice chai and, and conversations, should. and we go had to, to the go. set. Bro, you said chai yeah. and did this. <laughs> chai. I mean, there's a, chai there's a cup. It's actually, a cup. Right. Special chai. Cup is yeah. this. This is, Achha. 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 This is different. This, okay. is, this is different. Okay. Chai and no, your hand signals. Okay. So I this used to happen. Uh, use the other hand. Again. And then they used to go. They used to go uh, shoot. We after pack up drove three and a half hours to Bombay. Huh? Had work in the next morning. In the next morning, we again drive three and a half hours. What work were you doing in the night? We were making a whatever show, yeah, some, work, some, whatever some meetings we and all used to happen in the night. This is what I went through in Delhi in the yeah, early days. Yeah. <laughs> These guys don't have a problem working twenty four hours, thirty. They don't look at the watch. They don't care. And this guy could drink also in between. Yeah. So I, I mean, this is madness. But I was just them if you are drinking, we have to take time off in the next morning. Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. The, How's Chicken Corner doing? Which reminds the Chicken me. Center. Yeah. Chicken Center. But I, I stopped drinking in 2015, December 24th. Really? I cancelled it. Yeah. Uh, I. I don't know this man anymore. I swear, I, my mother. I, I stopped. I stopped. I don't drink anymore. 
but your physique is yeah i just live weeks and yeah i kill time i i play with myself a lot because <laughs> my social friday night aaj to main kya karega i'm alone that's one of the emails <laughs> i got yeah. the, the addiction with uh, masturbation. masturbation yeah yeah i said enjoy it yeah what are I you complaining about i can't believe runway ji wrote in <laughs> <laughs> it was a whatsapp that i read but is it is it, email? A, will... is it a safer addiction than i mean so many others enjoy it yeah yeah use the other hand <laughs> that was his problem <laughs> feeling no, like listen, yeah. we're not making fun of cheat on myself <laughs> it's, it's this platform uh, that we are talking like this uh, are you going to okay i thought this is a demonstration <laughs> but this guy with the last tie you know he did to aa kal maine uber ko bulaya but it's just uh have you watched the tvf parody and why is that better than the original i watched the previous parody and it is better than the original because it's scripted What are they talking about? I don't even know. So There's TVF a, launched with a parody. The first thing that TVF oh. ever did huh. was a parody of Rowdies. Oh right, yeah, yeah, okay. Called okay. Rowdies, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. You liked it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You like all the jokes and all? No, yeah, that is something that I like. There are others also who we have tried. New they, these guys are genuinely TVF funny. TVF guys, they're really uh, a talented bunch of people. Yeah. And these guys were genuinely funny. So why not? Yeah. If there are people who try to make fun of us. They'll hey, Rowdy, but that's they'll repeat yeah. that like that yeah, guys who used to come and. Uh, do a bakra on you it's the same thing and mm. you're like dude come on just mm. be interesting i'm not asking for much be interesting tvf was interesting but it's flattery isn't it end of the day that is this iconic scene no if i meet them i'll break their legs <laughs> fuck them man chuti aur kuch nahi aata chuti okay this is from this is from speaking of speaking of chuts this is from abbas who works you got us. so excited when i abused just now yeah. look at it yeah he's waiting for it <laughs> <laughs> he paid money for this here you know? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're in a movie about your two girls you know in a relationship and they're both dying of cancer or something i mean when's ragu going to abuse you know this <laughs> is what kind of casting Uh, Abbas, who works with us, a very famous comedian, <laughs> says, "What's the story behind Raghu or Rajiv's? Uh, oh, Indian Idol audition." Ah, huh, yeah, mine. Ha. Huh. So I had finished shooting for Rudy's too, and this is again another time the question is happening. Mm-hmm. Grow out of it, guys. <laughs> but I'll tell you one more time. Uh, Rudy's two shoot ended at Wagga border, and I was coming to Mumbai via Delhi. And at that time, the first season of uh, this thing was sh- uh, being shot. My girlfriend at that time then became my wife. Now my ex-wife, Sugandha. Wow, <laughs> lot to digest. Was working as part of the very this painful. Thing. This whole <laughs> bloody. Yeah. Process. I'm stuck in Wagga borders. Still, I'm bloody rich. God knows where. Oh. So I went there, and they, they at that time, I had this reputation of being hot-headed and deadly boy and all that, like you telling me. So these guys said, "Hey, man, you've come. Why don't you go and pick a fight with the judges?" I said, "Why would I do that? I like them. At least some of them." and they said no man people are crying and coming out and it's not you go and fight with them it will be fun i said for whom for it will be fun i said then my then sugandha said do it do it and i said for you i'll do it baby this is so, a wife now no longer now they, but yeah. yeah so i went in there i didn't know what song to sing what i actually did you sing? something that the guy in, ahead of me sang i heard him singing and i went in and i started doing so i went in to pick a fight but minus one track tha nahi nahi kuch nahi tha yaar to aisa vocal i sang But before that, I started doing some funny things and all. I went in to pick a fight. Uh-huh. They didn't know I was a plant, but they didn't know. Uh, they were the reacting to know. me. Uh-huh. They re- they were reacting to me genuinely. Who were the judges For, first season? Uh, Farah Khan, Sonu Nigam, and Anu Malik. And I ended wow. up working with the Farah biggest, Khan. The biggest guns in the business. Farah huh? Khan and Sonu Nigam were involved with, of the course, uh, Tismar Khan. Tismar Khan. Mm-hmm. So uh, and Anu Malik. Uh, thankfully, I have not had to work with. Uh, he loves us. I'll take care of Anu Malik. He's very fond of us, and he's been on the show. I huh? have worked with him on entertainment. Oh, fuck you, good bastard. Show off. I'm in the position. What? 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 Like it be- it became viral there was no such thing as viral at that time but everybody came and they're still talking about it but just to remind us because we won't be able to show the clip uh-huh. i doubt uh, you uh, th- i picked the fight with no, so who got angry so i was singing and anu malik said stop and he started giving me a long winded uh, feedback i said stop yeah. yes or no he said no i said tamil se nahi bola and that's the funny part i am telling these guys to <laughs> not be rude huh. and then i i became and this was before people and he was not particularly uh, rude he was i mean yeah he wasn't he was being he was very forward yeah. and yeah. then I, on camera judge yeah. i guess yeah and then all this happened and i yeah i push back so quite you, aggressive you know, tamil se baat karo tamil se nahi bola what happened no. in the end he just nahi na he looked at the camera and goes Like that, and, and I walked out, and then these guys like security and all that. They like, thought I was threatening God. them. Wow. Do we need security? Wow. Yeah. 
till today the guards are outside and there's thousands of you yeah really. yeah so that happened and that's ironic because then she punished I, you fara punished you yeah <laughs> she's <laughs> arkan <laughs> bathroom <laughs> yeah, yeah. every time we got out of the vanity yeah. it would park somewhere yeah. else yeah. further yeah. wow what a revenge what a super yeah. story yeah all right we're running out of time guys you've really been boring going on about yourself <laughs> <laughs> can't take it boss really yeah, that's why right. like deja vu going back in time and all these long drives i'm interesting in 10 minute things that's why our episodes are 10 you all remember the av chandigarh how we went and got the av yes oh, wow. <laughs> and we got chased yeah. by the principal ha <laughs> uh-huh. My oh, what God. stories we have! Yeah. Well, they've written a book also. One of you, Raghu, you, you wrote the book, right? Yeah, you're yeah. a big part of it. I, I got, I got to mention. Like somebody sent me the uh, photo and all. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cyrus, and then next to it, some galleys or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Lots all of all things. You should read it. Come on, man. Bro, reading and all, no. My, <laughs> <laughs> you read to me, <laughs> and hopefully I'll hear. Audio book. Oh. Okay. There you go. Okay, let's uh, as we end, let's get back to the podcast. It's just uh, launched. It's in its first avatar. It's a ten-minute audio at the moment, but it's going to evolve into all kinds of things from what I gather. Yeah. And it's called Men Encyclopedia. One shot, me. Finally again. got it. Huge word, but I got it in <laughs> one shot. And basically, if you're out there and you want to talk your problems or you want to just open up a little bit, these two guys are there, ready to listen and not pass judgment and help. Yeah. Yeah. The only the only thing it. we ask is whatever we talk about, keep it secret from your girls. Yeah. Yeah. It's only for men. It's only for men. Yeah, on a public platform, and then people like me will push it out and go. <laughs> He's so when, short. <laughs> if you go to a porn site and they say say that you're 18, you are going to do that. I mean, But you have to say. I like even better is the visa forms where they ask you, "Are you a member of a right wing Nazi party?" <laughs> I mean, like really, I mean, I, I, like what are you supposed to write? So yeah, we're yeah. just saying it's only for men. But then you can say I'm 18, and you can. Hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, we'll end with Sparsh's question. Yes. Sparsh. Is it okay if you have more than three testicles? <laughs> <laughs> well, depends where they are. No, his problem is about the collar. <laughs> Brother, if there's a man alive who has testicles above the collar, he'll never to work again. Yeah. Can you imagine? He just yeah, has display that once every year for fifteen million dollars. Yeah. yeah. So, so if you're that guy, write in Dick quickly to Men's Encyclopedia <laughs> as soon as possible. And as we end, let's just uh, abuse all the people who worked with that MTV. Saukar, you shoot, China, you can't do. What are the producers? Name the producers. Forget them now. Choto, Bumpy. Choto. And then there were a lot of Bumpy. Where's Bumpy? Bumpy. Films. Yeah, Bumpy. Yeah, films, yeah. Yeah. no. Films. Vibha Vishal, I know, has become an icon. Yeah, yeah. Vikram Sarthi is leading comic in Sudan. Everybody is big, man. Only we are sitting here yeah. and having. Who came <laughs> back to podcast? <laughs> yeah. Why did you come back to podcast? Yeah. I V M. 